um, I'm in the process of learning Bash script. I'm, I'm not a Linux expert though, but um, so we'll discuss about the software. What is a software? Software is a set of programs. What I'm saying that software is a set of programs. Here we are having the supporting programs means, to run the system. Means, the software is a set of programs. Mm -hmm. How many types of the softwares we have? System software and application software. Okay. What are all comes under the system software is any operating system is a system software. Application software is any application program like C, C++, Java, .NET, Visual Basic, C Sharp, any programming language comes under application software. If I want to install the application software into the computer, first of all, I should have the system software that is called the operating system. So what is meant by operating system here? Operating system is a platform. Operating system is a software. System software. Operating system is a set of programs. So operating system is a platform. Friends? So operating system is the heart of the system. So here we do have the two types of the operating systems. One is single user operating system mm -hmm. and multi user operating systems. Single user operating systems yeah. are disk operating system. These are all having the command prompt that is character user interface and windows windows having the gui graphical user interface graphical user interface here the windows is a single user operating system with the multitasking windows is a single user operating system with the multitasking the multi user operating systems are unix so unix having the cui tool character user interface linux both cui and GUI. Genix Web Friends is a Unix flavor. HP Unix. AIX. Ubuntu. Fedora. These are all Linux flavors. Why people are preferring the Linux nowadays? So all our people the perfect in the Windows operating system. So why people are preferring the, the Linux operating system? What is the importance? What are the features of the Linux operating system? Thanks.
right? One second. So why people are looking for the Linux even though people are perfect in the Windows operating system. So Linux, what I am saying that Linux is a multi-user operating system. It supports the multitasking or multi-programming. And uh, Linux is the open source, first of all. No need to pay anything to anybody. It's the open source. Security level is also very high than compared to the Windows operating system. Mm -hmm. Security level is also is very high than compared to the Windows operating system. Giving me an example of a multi user operating system, um, how, how you are saying that I'm sorry, or uh, I'll say it. So Linux is a multi-user operating system. You know, Linux supports the multitasking or multi-programming. Linux is the open source. Friends. And uh, we can download it from the net itself. Friends. So and security level is very high than compared to Windows operating system. That means so here this is the Linux mission here. We do have the dummy terminals. Terminal 1, Terminal 2, Terminal 3, like this. So these are the dummy terminals, dummy machines. Okay. And uh, so here we are using the, the third party tool like uh, Telnet and the dummy mission and IP address of the Linux machine. IP address of the Telenex machine. Yeah, and the port as well. Yeah. Otherwise, otherwise, putty, putty also freeware. We can download it from the net itself. In the putty also, so here I should give the IP address and uh, port number. So I can use uh, the, I can use either putty or telnet and the dummy terminal to interact with the Linux machine. And that too, we are using the Linux commands to interact with the Linux machine. We are, we are interacting with the Linux machine using the commands. We are giving the command. We are giving the commands. We are communicating with the Linux machine using the commands. At the end of the day, so once we log out in the dummy terminal, then so nothing to have in the dummy terminal. All the the updates will be updated in the Linux machine only. And no need to maintain the antivirus. And no need to ma no need to install the, the Linux system in each and every machine. Where we get installed in the Linux server. And we do have the dummy terminals here. And using the uh, telnet and IP address of the Linux machine. Here I used to connecting with the Linux machine. 
otherwise here we get install the putty in the windows machine using the windows machine also so we can connect to the linux machine thanks putty also it is a uh, uh, freeware you can download it from the net itself there itself we should write the ip address and port number ip address of the linux machine thanks okay. Here, like a Windows operating yes. system. In the Windows operating system, directly we are hitting to the system, right? So yes. here, the Linux machine, we use the Telnet or Putty. There itself, we used to write the commands to connecting to the Linux server and to interact with the Linux machine. And once we close the Putty, friends, once we close the Putty or Telnet or terminal, then so we restored the into we restore the system into the normal position all the updates will get updated in the, the linux machine itself so i can say the security level is very high than compared to the windows operating system and no need to upgrade the system with the antivirus like windows hence here we can have the job scheduling at, of course in the windows operating system also we can do the job schedule in the background in the Linux operating system background process and foreground processing background means system offline mode foreground means system online here in the Linux operating system we do have the kernel kernel is an interaction between user and hardware components shell is an interaction between user and kernel set of instructions can be written at shell and processing at kernel and result will be appear on the screen what exactly we are going to learn in the Linux shell scripting is the commands level. The command level we will discuss about the directory commands. Directory is nothing but the folder. MKDR command making the directory. CD command close the, all the directories and CD dot dot CD space hyphen. And speed will define working directory RMDIR or rn space hyphen r to remove the home directory including all the subdirectories and file creation commands file creation commands cat command cp command friends mv command link command on rm command and double c command some commands are there Pipes and filter commands to work with the more than one command at a time. Here we use the pipe symbol and filter commands, grep command, filter also find command. Hence, like here we have the pipe symbol and grep and parameters, e grep and parameters, f grep, find command, and start command, head and tail commands, and prayer command. Hence, so different commands are there, filter commands, cut command also. Compressing and decompressing the files. G, G, and G and G command. Archiving process, tar command. Mailing process, mailx command. And job scheduling using that command and cron tab command. At command for only one time process. Cron tab, if I want to run the job every half an hour, every 15 minutes, every 20 minutes, then we go for the cron tab. Job scheduling and background process, foreground process using the BG command and FG command. So background and foreground. Jobs running 
friends and checking the jobs next disk related commands disk space checking disk related commands we'll discuss and va editor advanced va editor we editor itself where we use to write the shell scripting then we'll start with the shell scripting basics so we'll practice about variables operators constants and control statements loopings iterations and so we'll discuss about the functions friends arrays concept and how to connect using the linux scripting how can i get the connection to the database system how can i call the queries in the uh, linux operating system just i have given the outlines here friends what so here i am starting the the linux mission here i'm i'm getting start the linux mission using the virtual box here getting started are you getting my screen right said yes yes i'm getting your screen yes it is i'm getting your screen and i i can see that red hat is loading in yes, the yes. virtual box So, what's your feasible time, Syed? Uh, my feasible time is like uh, six thirty in the morning. Okay. You're from? Is that okay? Or uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, please let me know your feasible. Yeah, you're from? Uh, I'm from India, Andhra Pradesh. India. Okay. Vijayawada. Vijayawada. Okay. So, morning six o'clock is okay for you, or six thirty? So 6:30 is okay for me. 6:30, okay. Your work location? I'm currently in Vietnam, uh, for a few days, and I'll be back to uh, Vijayawada again. I'm on on site. Okay. So here I'm opening the terminal. here it's also here i'm going to here i'll explain about the directory commands like here mkdir command here i'm using mkdir stands for making the directory so to creating the directory that means the folder directory is nothing but the folder so here i'm having mkdir sayed if i want to open the directory which we created then cd command change directory now pwd command present working directory is syed from here itself we can have the sub directories in present working directories mysh if i want to close the mysh directory then cd space dot dot it closes only the current directory cd space hyphen reopens the directory which we closed recently
SID Sales of plus log out and login again. Log out and login again. Yes, I can hear me now. Sayed? Yes, uh, I can hear you. Yeah. MK Dayar Sayed command. Sayed is the directory. CD Sayed to open an existing directory. PWD command present working directory. PWD command helps mm -hmm. to display the present working directory. Present working directory. So here itself we can have the subdirectories. Mice is the subdirectory to the sayad. Then I want to close the mice directory. Then cd space dot dot. Now print working directory is sayad. cd space hyphen reopens the directory which we closed recently. cd command it closes all the directories and comes to root. If I want to remove the directory called Syed, fail to remove the directory because the directory is not empty. First, we should remove the subdirectories. Then okay. it is possible to removing the home directory. Otherwise, otherwise, if I want to remove the home directory, including all the subdirectories, friends. Then here I am using the rm space hyphen r. rm space hyphen r is the command to removing the directory including all the subdirectories. Type s. Yes. Removing the mesh directory s. Yes. S yes. like this. Now print working directory is root only and see the size the directory get removed. No such file or directory. Right. Why we required the directories in the sense if I want to store the files in my own directory then we are going to creating the directory and we are going to what are the files here I am having all the files will get stored into in one in my in our own directory friend working directory size only friend friend working directory is size only here itself here itself we are going to creating the direct file I am going to write some text to the file. Cat greater than some file name. So here we offer the following courses. The Linux, Ubuntu, and SQL and Fill SQL, HP Unix, AIX, Shell Scripting, 
something here i am writing press control d is the short uh, control d is the key to save the content what we are written and to display the content of an existing file then cat space courses if i want to add the some more text to an existing file then here i am using the cat with the double greater than symbol mm -hmm. so here i am going to add the oracle dba sql server sql server dba here we have only move forward we cannot move backward right control d here then cat courses if i want to display the content of the courses file into in li with line numbering cat space hyphen n then file name displaying the content of an existing file with line numbering so this is the way so here we are going to working with a directory commands here rn space hyphen r then save if i want to removing the directory including all the subdirectories and files then we use the command call rm space hyphen r then file name rn space hyphen r then file name rn space hyphen r is the command which helps to removing the directory including all the files and subdirectories rm dir is the command it is for removing the directory at the time the directory should be empty folder should be empty so this is the way so here we do have the sessions friends so here for each and every topic so we'll be giving the exercise also to get some answer so we'll try to give the best friends and to get the hands on also so i'll show you some exercise so what kind of the exercise here i i used to give and the commands and cell scripting friends this one the queries here what i am going to display the notepad here e login logout and exercise ls commands friends and creating the files this kind of the questions here i'll share after uh, for each and every topic we'll discuss about the topic and from the topic here i i used to give some exercise here friends so that uh, so you'll get some idea how to interact with the linux machine how can i solve the issues like this friends then different exercise we have Good. for each and every topic we do have some exercise so we'll share these documents and new documents also will give you so in future friends and file permission commands like uh, for an existing file so if i want to change the file permission to the user group and others then we use the ch mode command changing the file permission in the cell scripting the file programming also will be there in the cell scripting so file programming also will be there here. file handling so with the command line arguments and the command prompt itself so we used to give some input and so many samples here will be given in the cell scripting just i given the outlines uh, so on uh, what are the concepts we are covering in the linux cell scripting so actually based on your grasping so the minimum to minimum it will take the three weeks time to complete the linux cell scripting so here first of all we'll start the training from the commands it's uh, what are the commands here i shown some for sample the first uh, so we will discuss about the linux commands once we complete the command level then we move to the cell scripting directly we so directly we will not start the cell scripting so first we'll discuss about the commands all the commands what are the commands we have in the linux those commands how to include in the cell scripting program so this kind of the stuff we'll discuss okay. so daily one hour session will be there the monday to saturday so sunday will be out okay, okay. so monday to saturday so okay. we will be having the one hour session then our daily at the end of the session we will forward the recorded session and uh, exercise to practice 
so if any doubts you can discuss with me so uh, uh, we'll clarify your all the subject issues and we'll be giving the support also in future after completion of the training also any queries said no uh, it looks pretty straightforward and uh, uh, I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to have a great start in, uh, So, uh, how how about the uh, demo session? Uh, I'm sorry. So, how about the, the demo? So, uh, the, how is the demo now? It was good. It was good. Whatever I was looking for, um, uh, you're exactly on the notch. So, it looks good. Thank you, Arthur. And once you discuss with uh, Mr. Ravi, so then we'll start tomorrow. But, uh, so, shall we start the session uh, from tomorrow, 6:30? Regular session? Yeah, yeah. Regular session. Yeah, so once you can, uh, I think so you have the uh, contact details of the Ravi, you can discuss with him. Then we'll start our regular yeah. session from tomorrow. And uh, so if you want me to provide the software, a uh, virtual box and Linux, I'll forward through the P cloud transfer and you can, uh, I will help you. Um, uh, sorry, you do have the software in your system. Um, you want to uh, Mahesh? Yeah, Mahesh, Ubuntu, right? yeah, yes. Ubuntu also is fine for practice, not an issue. So yeah, already you have the office. Yes, already you have the Ubuntu in your system. Yes. Then you can continue the practice with the Ubuntu also, uh, not an issue. Okay. okay. Yep. Thank you. So thanks for giving the time, Syed. I'll forward this uh, text document and recorded session to your email ID. And please go through with that one. And uh, once you give the confirmation to the Ravi, then we'll start the session at uh, 6.30 tomorrow. Hmm? Yep. Thank you. It was my pleasure. And uh, thanks a lot for sharing your time and uh, sharing your knowledge. Thank you. So see you tomorrow. Yep. Have a nice day. Yeah, should have seen. Thank you. Thank you.